Hello everyone, my name is Grigory Gromov, currently based in Berlin. As an uh, audiovisual artist creating music and sounds since 2006 and visual art since 2018, I'm happy to meet uh, you everyone uh, today at this uh, meetup. Today I would like to introduce myself and to talk a little bit about my experience and then pass the floor to my colleague Konstantin. Uh, um, yeah. For a richer experience I tried to go beyond uh, my specification. Besides creating music and visuals I designed interactive installation, created uh, create posters and motion design and take part in theater performances as a media artist. Uh, at the moment I have uh, two audiovisual albums uh, with uh, which I have performed in various venue as you can see. My first album line was made for dance events, combining melancholic melodies, glitch-like percussion uh, and techno rhythms. For this performance I used a full recording, which I subsequently uh, proceeded uh, in maximum speed. I also created a generation in the noise job, not in touch designer. Then sent it to the Ableton via OSC and used this data to create sounds in the Ableton. Then I did the visualization also via OSC signal. My last audiovisual work was presented last year. It's a combination of ambient drone and uh, experimental music. Conceptually, this album is expressed in the idea of non-conceptualism. Okay. I also provide visual support at uh, various events. It can be a festival or club event. Uh, um, in this slide you see a visual accompaniment by the composer Paolo Dodonov performing guitar drone music. His uh, music is domained uh, by melancholic mood with a rather heavy sound. And, the, and uh, to emphasize this, red was chose as a main color, as well as intersecting stern line, which were repeatedly copied, filling the ball space, creating a sense of tension. The moment of the visual structure was done in improvisation manner, reflecting the sonic narrative in real time. Um, I also happened to work on third production. This production used uh, eight projection, 16 lasers and multi-channel sound system. I act as a media artist uh, and switch on the necessary scenes uh, using projection and laser during the production and rehearsals uh, in real time. And as I said before, the visual in the club. Yeah. Um, I also work uh, quite often with modeling, 3D rendering and simulation. 
Okay. Um, also, before I, I can start to uh, explain my small feature, uh, I would like to notice one thing. Mm, yeah. I would like to add a small remark of my own. I think the modern person is quite spoiled uh, by interaction with the telephone uh, screen, TV and other digital media. I think it's a challenge for an artist today to capture people's attention with their work. And I see audiovisual art as one of doing that. Okay. Okay, now I would like to uh, show you an uh, example uh, of how a visualization for music can be made uh, quite quickly. For this project, I used a live grabber plugin, uh, this name, uh, which allows me to send OST signal from Ableton to Touch Designer. In particular example, I am using an analysis grabber, uh, which is one of the tools that in, is included uh, in the live grabber package. So what I did, I extracted uh, the audio frequencies with a filter, uh, yeah, as you can see. filters and uh, uh, as you can see you can uh, set uh, parameters of filtered or filter uh, also you can uh, uh, set uh, smooth uh, filter of your parameter uh, to get uh, to get more reactivity uh, for your signal. So, um, yeah. And then I sent uh, this uh, to signal to the host in touch design via this, uh, uh, yeah, this one, this two uh, signal. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is host C. One, two. Inside Touch Designer, I uh, summarize it. Uh, summarize it. Uh, the received uh, signal, and then configure it. Uh, configure it. Uh, the interaction with uh, the visual system. It's quite simple uh, visual system, yeah, and. Uh, effective example that allowed me to implement implement the visualization for the composition. Uh, I used a couple of ROMs, uh, switches to uh, uh, yeah, uh, set scores, uh, some noisy texture to get this uh, grainy style and uh, feedback loop uh, yeah, displays uh, super simple so thank you for your attention and uh, now i would like to pass uh, the word to my colleague who will tell you about uh, his work and tricks thank you hello my name is Konstantin Dovzik. I'm a visual artist from St. Petersburg, uh, now I'm based in Milan. I do media installations, uh, various interactive systems, uh, computer graphics, stage design. I work a lot uh, in the field of events. Uh, now I will try to briefly introduce you uh, to what I have been doing lately. I would like uh, to tell and show you a lot of different things, but uh, not to waste much of your time. I will show you uh, one case that I think uh, it's most interesting from my recent works. Uh, 
in which case uh, I used uh, the touch designer uh, to control different systems, ladders, LED screens, projections and LED stripes. We did uh, the stage design with my team uh, for the main stage of uh, the Gamma Festival. Uh, the touch designer in this case was uh, the central system controlling the uh, visual simulations uh, on the LED screens uh, and their interaction with the lasers. Uh, the visualizations were built on various procedural generations. Uh, the growth of uh, the simulation uh, was determined by uh, the point where the laser beam hit. A control system was implemented uh, to allow flexible control of the laser and visual patterns, uh, light stripes and projection uh, with live stream. The system also uh, was connected uh, with the lights, uh, duplicating part of the light uh, control uh, from the light console. Okay, um, at the moment for the festival in Rome, uh, I'm developing a complete solution for managing visualization and light sticks uh, as well as for linking them uh, with lasers in a single project. Uh, the project is based on various generators uh, which control uh, lasers and mm, light sticks and link. I make the main uh, bias uh, on a simple and quick ability to use uh, different tools within the same interface. From this component, uh, the signal uh, the data is sent from uh, the lasers and uh, from uh, this uh, component uh, the data is sent uh, to DMX channels for uh, the LED stripes. Um, okay, now I want to share uh, with you a project uh, that uh, we are developing uh, for the planetariums uh, with a musician uh, ready sample. Uh, this is his uh, YouTube music page. And his music uh, gives rise to many visual images based on sensations and emotions uh, and we wanted uh, to create kind of uh, immersive experience. Uh, there are several storylines running uh, throughout the album uh, that we are trying to implement in an abstract way. Uh, the most uh, of the upcoming program is uh, being developed uh, using Ableton at Touch Designer. Uh, during development uh, it allows us uh, to work in a flexible way uh, with materials uh, that are modified and rewritten. Uh, basically, in parallel uh, uh, with the sound channels, we create an empty channels uh, for MIDI notes, uh, which uh, is the scenario skeleton of the composition. Uh, the comments are sent uh, from MIDI channels uh, to Touch Designer uh, to switch uh, certain uh, case scenarios.
this composition uh, is based on procedural fluid simulations. Uh, the main uh, sound accents uh, create movement. Uh, this movement uh, is computed uh, via the optical flow component and uh, sent uh, to the fluid simulation. The base part uh, of the sound also controls uh, the simulation parameters, but uh, it's changed uh, as the composition progress. I use uh, several different uh, simulations to create uh, different visual layers uh, that uh, show up depending uh, on the accents. Visualizations uh, after the first uh, part take us uh, from a single liquid space uh, to the next layer and uh, something like a space of portals. This uh, part of the project uh, textures uh, are assembled uh, from different panics and uh, mapped uh, on the sphere. Uh, the switch uh, determines uh, which map will uh, be sent uh, to the sphere depending on the media channels. thinking about uh, how to do it uh, clearly uh, enough uh, so uh, that the message uh, we put uh, in was read uh, but uh, at the same time uh, I want to do it uh, in uh, quite abstract form uh, the basic component of the project has uh, its own line uh, which uh, as the composition develops drags us deeper and deeper uh, and uh, at the end uh, we must uh, come to the original place uh, but without returning back uh, at the same time uh, it's like a scale invariance uh, both in the whole uh, world around us uh, and in the depths uh, of our consciousness Looking uh, into the deeps, uh, you find patterns uh, similar uh, to the external system. Thank you.